Salam alaikum. What? Chicken price 10 ringgit per kilo? Broccoli 20 ringgit? McDonald's Sunday cone now 2 ringgit? What is happening? Suddenly inflation is exploding. Why is inflation happening now? There are a few reasons and some of them are due to the past situation during COVID-19 and some due to the current situation after lockdown just finished. Firstly, in 2020, people were not spending during COVID-19. Due to financial uncertainty, many people were scared and didn't want to spend on big purchases. People put off big purchases and especially cars because they were restricted in movement. So it didn't make sense to upgrade the car. So now that the lockdown has ended, people are starting to want to go out and buy stuff. They're starting to travel and go for holidays and they're going back to eating out and football games and other. This means there'll be more demand for certain items such as clothing, sports gear or something like that. And people may eat more and restaurants may be buying up a lot more stuff at the market. Secondly, during early COVID-19 era in 2020, most factories and companies were closed. So, many items were in short supply. For example, boxes for packaging were not available since all printing companies were forced to close. And that leads to a lot of products being unavailable because there were no boxes to package them in. This situation is still continuing until now. One sector that is particularly affected is electronics because there is a severe shortage of chips for phones and game consoles and many other products as well. Thirdly is delays in transport and delivery. In America and Europe, they have a shortage of lorry drivers to transport products to retail stores and consumers. The price of oil has gone up and this also adds to the cost of delivery and ultimately the prices that we pay for goods. Shipping companies have also been affected by COVID-19 and that meant that imported products from China, for example, did not arrive into our stores. This was caused by border restrictions. Ports were closed and no ships were able to move and no crew was allowed to get on the ship. The fourth cause of inflation is food prices that are going up all over the world. There are several reasons for this and the main one is climate change, meaning that severe weather conditions such as drought, storms, frost and floods have damaged a lot of crops recently. Secondly, people cannot move to other countries so the usual labor supply, which is foreign workers, were not able to come to work in the fields. Thirdly, the oil price and freight price increase has pushed up the price of foods as well. Fourth, the price of chicken increased due to the feed price increase because the feed is imported from China. Fifth, palm oil prices increased due to high demand for oil as a biofuel and we use a lot of palm oil in all kinds of manufactured foods. Food inflation is the worst because the poorest people will be affected most. This is because the poor people spend a large proportion of their income on food. They will feel the pain more severely. But everyone has to eat food, so everyone will be paying more. Although you can shop around for food, basically the price will be much the same. What is more, you cannot buy a lot of them to keep in your storeroom either because they must be eaten fresh. This is where the government and the KPDN HAP must play the role to control the prices of essential goods. Fifthly, in Malaysia, we rely on foreign workers in many industries including manufacturing. That means if they hire locals at a higher salary, the price of goods like shoes and furniture will increase. If they cannot produce enough shoes to meet the demand, the price will go up too. So how can we prepare to fight inflation so that we make our money go further? One way that we can prepare is by storing up the goods that are going to go up in price. For example, we could buy some extra soap or tin foods. Then you can avoid paying high prices in future. This is assuming that you have the extra money to buy more of these items than you need right now. The second way to fight inflation is by comparing prices online. 
more people are turning to shopping online not only because of the convenience but also because it makes it easier to search for a cheaper price. This is one thing that can help us fight against inflation. You don't have to go around town searching for a bargain. Even though you might pay a small fee for delivery, you can still save money by shopping smartly online. The third way is to prepare to spend more by earning more money from business or part-time job, especially the mothers and housewives. There are so many businesses that you can do from home just using your phone. So why not choose a product you love and make money by promoting it? The fourth way is to invest your money where you can get good returns. You can try to play the share market and choose the upcoming best companies like Tesla and Grab. This is if you can afford to buy those shares on US share market or to save yourself stress and worry just invest in a good fund like Pioneer Entrepreneur Fund. You only need a minimum of 100 ringgit to start investing but you can still get good earnings from this fund provided you keep investing over the long term that is 3 to 5 years at least. That's all for today. Stay invested and have a great day. Assalamu alaikum.